All right, so I got a comment from one of somebody that was watching one of my videos before, and on the comment it said that, "Hey, we really like, I really like how you do, um, kind of like this confessional type stuff um, when you're doing art." So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm doing like this kind of confessional stuff, kind of going back and forth between drawing the artwork so you can see me being able to you know here i'm doing some inking but also being able to go in and kind of maybe explain what i'm doing who these characters are and then kind of talk about like the the the, the creation why the character the character the, the 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 story is what it is or what's going on with the story um at this point so what i'm working on right now is a character she he is um the father of um, one of my other characters called Yolana. Um, uh, her, she is a boxer turned, and you'll see her in a second, she's a boxer that's turned MMA champion, and um, he is essentially her coach, and that's why he looks like Mickey from Rocky. <laughs> uh, but he's funny because he actually, um, he, he speaks, uh, I, when I hear his voice and when I'm writing dialogue for him, he speaks like Mickey, but he also has a, a crush on another character that is, you'll see in a second too, um, as well. But this is all from my webcomic, Ready to Spar. Um, it is on our Patreon page, um, Ready to Spar. Uh, it's patreon.com slash ready to spar. And it's an adult comic, so there's adult situations and there's also like, um, you know, cussing and things like that. So it's not for kids, um, even though we do a lot of other kid friendly things. Um, this is this this webcomic getting it is updated weekly. Um, and sometimes I update it a little bit more than weekly, you know, with artwork and pinups and, you know, and stuff like that. So um, and <laughs> right now the 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 um, boxer girl, this is Yulana, right? This is um, Pops. They call him Pops, right? Um, or Da. She calls him Da. So uh, she is, they're both from Russia. Um, and she um, is the current um, MMA heavyweight champion. And um, she just won the belt. Um, it's it, in this universe, all the belts are, um, all the women's belts have been unified under one um, person like the story this is the storyline before this one was where there was one champion and she just went around solidifying and unifying all of the mma belts so, so she had all of them and um because of circumstances she's not around anymore so they um this the person who was getting ready to challenge her was yulana and yulana had to fight somebody else for the belt because the uh, the champion wasn't around anymore. You have to read, you know, uh, read to find out why. But anyway, um, so Yolanda actually um, won the belt. So now she is the overall women's champion. Um, but she's also a boxer and she doesn't do any kicks, you know, no techniques like that. So what she actually, um, what she's actually done is, is that she's enlisted a few people from the overall um, story, a few of the characters from the story, to help her spar, to get used to seeing kicks, to get used to seeing takedowns and things like that, and seeing, you know, being able to make her better at defending against those things. Because, like I said, she's a boxer. Um, so um yeah ready to spar like i said ready to spar is pretty much about you know four women in mma in their individual lives their love life their lives inside and outside of the cage it does tie in with some of our with our other toshigawa universe stuff but it's more like this one is more like from a a street level or a a real a real ish quote unquote level um so whereas the other ones you know the young adult books which is you know jetta tells of the toshigawa it deals with like ninjas and um and like 
people with powers and things like that. In Shinobi Ninja Princess, it deals with ninjas and martial arts and monsters and things like that. This one deals with more of on a on a street level, you know, everyday person, people type of thing in this world. So every once in a while, you will say see something that is kind of way out there and outlandish. You know what I mean? Um, there may be a shapeshifter or something that happens inside of this this story. Um, but for the most part, it's just about these um, women, their love life, um, their outlandish love life, I will put it that way, uh, and them being able to um, uh, get better at, at their different levels. Um, the main character is not on here. Her name is Aya. Um, and um, she is, um, you know, if you are a reader, she she's a very um, good looking, voluptuous um, <laughs> character. Um, but she's also, you know, dealing with her own hardships and stuff like that. She can't be a professional MMA fighter because um, um, she can't get medical clearance in order to be able to to do that so you know a lot of times she trains and she's really good she trains but she she can only have a certain she can only go to a certain level with her with her training sometimes um but ironically her um her uh boyfriend is actually a ninja so he actually trains her in ninja arts so Aya is kind of trying taking her training a different way um so that's left with left Yulana with kind of being like, okay, well, I need to be able to, to, um, continue my training and stuff like that so that I can still be able to compete. And that's where she is. That's where she is right now. Uh, that's where we are right now. That's who I'm inking right now. I really like drawing her. Um, she's a newer character, um, than everything else, than everybody else. When I first introduced her, you know, everybody thought that she was going to be a bad guy, you know, because, the last champ was not a very good person. <laughs> so uh, everybody thought the same thing about Yolana. But she is a very nice, kind-hearted character with a mean streak inside the ring. Uh, very strong. Very, very, very... If you think of Mike Tyson, this, she's like a Mike Tyson type of a character um, inside of uh, the, uh, the cage. So, um, and I really, really like really really like her she's just gotten through um sparring with our character here that you're getting ready to see um and this character right here her name is rose man and she is funny i love being able to, to write dialogue for rose um she is so complicated. Uh, <laughs> she started out as a antagonist to the main character, Aya. Um, the main antagonist from their gym. So they all went to a gym. Yolanda wasn't introduced, but um, she was in a gym with um, Aya. And it was and Aya and Rose um, were sparring and... Aya kind of got the best of her um, at one point, and Rose was the actual, she's the actual better kickboxer. So Rose got angry and challenged her to be able to, you know, for a nighttime sparring session with just them two. And, you know, after that, they became, uh, they worked out their differences and grievances in the, in the ring uh, and with some outside interference just like uh if you watch wrestling but uh <clears throat> um you know they worked out their differences and stuff like that and they've been fast friends ever since they've actually been best friends but i love writing her i love drawing her she's fun she's a fun character um loves manga loves anime but she is very 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 hard very hard woman trying to be able to get her uh, divorce finalized and her child back so um if you guys have any questions or anything like that i'm going to hopefully be able to do a couple of more of these coming up pretty soon with other books other characters stuff like that so you know read ready to spar hope you guys like it get a chance to take it out check it out